Hello everyone, this is Sandy Reese with StampitCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Thanks for joining me for another video tutorial today. We have another fun card using the super cool stamp set. This is just one of my favorites. Super great for summer cards. So we're doing a really colorful card today. I'm also using the new nested essential dies. These, I love these. I love the um, kind of rounded um, rectangles on here, the banners, and then we're using this one today. Uh, I don't know the shape, but it reminds me of that tag punch that we used to have a while back, but I'm using the smallest one on this one. So we're gonna create a really colorful background. So to save a little bit of time, I pre-cut a whole bunch, oh, that's my, that's my extra thing just in case. Uh, I pre-die pre cut brights. So I, I pulled out my scrap drawer for my brights and just did one of almost all the colors. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, this is going to be fun. Okay. So let's get to making our background. I'm looking for this. I'm going to put yellow right in the middle. This is our, our lightest color. And hopefully the goal is to get this on here and straight. And then we're going to build the rest of our background around it. Let me see. I'm going to try using our our centering guideline. So if you look across the top of our grid paper, this has a zero mark and then it goes in either direction. So if I center my paper, um, right about there, and then I can kind of look down and see and center my first piece. And then we can build from there. All right, so I'm going to take this is Asia Afternoon. We're gonna take this one and go right next to it. All right, then we'll take a Poppy Parade. We're gonna do this one down below and I'm leaving just a little bit of white in between. You could butt it up next to each other, but I think having that little bit of white kind of helps make the colors pop a little bit more. Okay, let's grab Flirty Flamingo. I'm gonna put this one right here. I'm trying to get my spaces pretty even. All right, let's grab uh, Pumpkin Pie. You could do this card, the same design with any of the color families. You could do pastels. You could do regals. You could even do a fun background with our neutrals. Just have it kind of dark. Or you could go with all one color and do it that way. Okay, this is very burst. Let's see. I'm gonna kind of just go on the edge here because we're gonna do a little trimming and then we're gonna do some piecing. All right. So we've got all of our, our main pieces on, and I'm gonna come and just trim off the extras. Some of them have adhesive already. Okay. This is just kind of a fun background technique, and that die will cut through two layers of cardstock at a time. So it did not take too long to um to cut these which was really nice sometimes dies don't want to cut through two layers but this one did i was very thankful for that so can anybody name the two brights that i did not use we have 10 brights and i used how many did i use i used eight of them so Shout out below if you know which two colors. I don't seem to be cutting this one very well. If you know which two colors I'm, uh, I didn't use. Okay. So now we're going to use some of these extras to fill in our gaps. So let's do. I'm going to use 
this is Coastal Cabana. And then I'm gonna use this Granny Apple Green to kind of fill in a bit here too. Let's do this one right here. And then we'll do a, a Granny Apple Green down here. And maybe we'll do orange or pumpkin pie right here. And we'll do the poppy right here. And Asia Afternoon, that's still got some. Let's put a little bit more right at the end down in this area. All right, one more trim and we will be done. Might have to clean my scissors after this. Making a big sticky mess. You know, I actually have some Teflon scissors. Let me see if these will work. These have a little Teflon Teflon coating so that the sticky doesn't stick well and it's, in theory it's not supposed to get as messy but you know how that goes okay and pumpkin pie nice all right let's get this mess out of here I think we've pretty much used all of that up. Isn't that great? I mean, that's super like 70s to me, super retro. And this, because it's a super cool, it should be called super retro. Okay, I am going to layer this on a thin mat of basic black. Now I like, I use a lot of black. I like this because it makes all these colors really pop. The white gives it a break in between the colors, and then this is just kind of, kind of set it up, set it up off the, off the white base card base, and then we're using thick whisper or thick. Oh man, thick basic white. I was really retro right there. I was thinking whisper white, which is our old white. We're going basic white today. Oh, I've got a something on the front i don't know is it on my hands could be could be for my fingers let's see if we can get that off this i'm gonna use this this is a sand eraser which we do not sell unfortunately but um you can get these online and if you have a very light smudge it will get that ink off it's sand so what it does is um just kind of gets rid of that top layer of paper very gently. So you don't wanna you know, scrub too long, you're gonna make a hole in your paper. Okay, so here we have our awesome retro card base. So I'm gonna use the, the little soda, bottle of soda right here. And we're gonna go with some Versamark. All right. I love, I probably should have done this before I glued it together, but that's okay. So I am going to use our Versamark and stamp the soda bottle on all of our tiles. And what this Versamark does, it's clear, but it creates a watermark image on all of the tiles. So it looks like tone on tone. Now, if you wanted to, you could probably go with the colors um but that's it's a lot of colors that's eight ink pads you have to do i just want a subtle soda bottle soda bottle pattern um on my tiles so versamark is a perfect way to do that okay now we're gonna put a bottle right in the middle and um we're gonna do it two ways so as you can see, I already cut out my a black one to go right on top or to pop out. And, and my husband and I had a discussion because my kids are gone. So he's the one that I have to brush, you know, like, uh, 
kind of feel out my ideas for, with, which isn't always the ideal way to go. <laughs> because sometimes he has an opinion, he's, you know, usually he says, that looks good, that's fine. All right, but it, you know, you can post below which way you, you like. So I'm gonna show you the process I went through yesterday to see what you think. So I stamped it in black. I'm gonna cut this out. Doesn't have super defined lines on all the areas, so you just kinda use your imagination. And if I can see what I'm doing, cut around that straw. Okay, so I started out with just the black and white bottle, and I'll show you, I didn't like it. Now, if you like it, you can try it. All right, so I started out with black and white right here, and I just thought, eh, it's kind of, kind of blah. So then I tried the yellow and uh, black on yellow, which is not too bad. So then I decided I was gonna color. So, you know, we all go through these thought processes. So I did the label in yellow and the daffodil and the straw. Okay. So I put that up there and it was not enough. So I took the Light Poppy Parade and I colored it like a red soda. Why do I have that end? I took Light Poppy Parade because, you know, I can't find where my Dark Poppy Parade went. Um, so I went with the light. I honestly don't know where my, it might be in a project, who knows? Okay, do a little bit of right here with the colors showing through. So this was option three. So this is the option my husband picked and I was okay with that because it's kind of like a little added pop of color right there that, that makes it a little different from the blocks. Now, if you like the blocks, keep it like this. I also had some black, uh, a little bit of black cardstock. This is just a, like, I don't even think this is a half inch. I think it's, what, what size? That looks like just under half an inch. It was just a scrap. Okay, so I thought I might break up the color a little bit and just put a little strip there. I'm gonna think about that. I'm gonna show you my final, my final project. This is the one that I ended up doing. So you can kind of um, think about it. What I'm gonna do, let me pop up the bottle and leave room to add that strip if I want it right across the middle. We'll try, we're gonna make this card using the, the yellow right in the middle. We'll just put it over the one we stamped. And then we're gonna just, I just wanted a little word, just a little bit. So I did the, um, where is it? The hay there stamp that's part of it, but I just wanted the hay, just hay. So I'm taking my black, stamp and write marker I can't see I just want, I don't want to get it on the T so I'm just trying to color the hay I'm gonna stamp it right you know I'm gonna do this one over on the blue let's try that oh for Pete's sakes let's see if we can line this up Let's re-ink it. We're gonna see if we can line this up. You know what, I need to take that off. Whoa, look out. You know, now I've got, now you're gonna have to look at my head. The back of my gray head while I line this up and hopefully we'll get it. No, not good. All right, so this is what we do. We're gonna pretend that that's okay. 
We're gonna pretend, and then when after I leave, I'm gonna peel off this panel and put a new one on there. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. So just pretend that's okay. So we're gonna put our yellow bottle back there. Cute. So do you like it with, with the black strip or without the black strip? Personally, I kind of like the black strip. I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab my ink and tiled punch just to do a little one. I want it to go just a little shorter. So we'll just poke that in a little bit further. All right, come on, get in there. Well, that's not very good. You know, I've done this before, so you'd think I could get it right, but you know. Okay, where's, pardon my arm, I'm gonna grab my liquid glue. I think it'll be easier to stick that in like that. I'm just gonna put it right across. I like the, I like the um, the black strip. But if you don't like it, you can just have it, you know, plain. And then you know, don't mess up your word. Stamp that before you glue it on. <laughs> that would be the ideal thing to do. And then I'm gonna pull in my big messy. Um, uh, pack of the tinsel pack forge four pack of gems and any of these colors would work I use blue here let's try let's try yellow I'm a little worried that that's gonna be too light but I think it might be okay we'll put a big one on the red and maybe a little one on the black let's see if that pops if that shows through we might have to Oh, that's okay. That shows up a little bit better. So there you go. You can go with any of these gems, and then you could go with any of the, um, you know, with your version of the soda bottle. Don't look. Okay, so <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's project. It was just kinda, you know, a lot of color. We have a lot of color on our cards this, this week. And we're going to have a lot of color next week, so be prepared. Um, all right. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by. Make sure to click subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. And um, I have an ordering special for the month. If you use the July host code with the link posted below, um, I'll send you a pack of embellishments for free this month, along with a fun thank you card. And I will see you back here um, on Thursday. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.